Members of the Williamsburg Hasidic community are outraged. Some are calling for revenge. Matthew Schwartz is here now with details. Matthew? It's an unusual story, Rollin. 25,000 members of the ultra-Orthodox Satmar sect live in the Williamsburg section of Brooklyn. About 20% of them reportedly don't like the chief rabbi. Last night, one of the main dissenters was attacked, so he'd shut up. Judah Weingarten is a man of peace, but a victim of violence. The 41-year-old Hasidic rabbi suffered head and facial injuries when he was punched and kicked by what police say was a gang of 15 to 20 Hasidic youths. It happened outside the rabbi's Bedford Gardens apartment building Tuesday night. A neighbor, John Perez, says he saw the gang approach the rabbi. They were arguing and stuff, and then after five, like five minutes later, they just started beating him and kicking him. And he started screaming, and we all came over, and we tried to stop him, and they told us to mind our business because it was none our business, and they had, they had every right to do that. What makes what happened here unusual is that the victim and his suspected attackers are members of Williamsburg's usually close-knit Satmar sect. Their legendary leader, Rabbi Joel Teitelbaum, died in 1979 at the age of 93. His nephew, Rabbi Moses Teitelbaum, is the current leader, but some usually camera-shy Satmars say Teitelbaum is greedy and puts himself above the Talmud, the authoritative body on Jewish law. After Weingarten criticized Teitelbaum in the local Jewish newspaper in April, Weingarten's car was set on fire. Now a group of fellow dissenters say Teitelbaum was behind the attacks on Weingarten. Moses Teitelbaum, his people orders. In his house, you know, maybe not his director, but he wants to do it because he, he holds a couple of speeches. A lot of people uh, terrorized speeches. He gave terrorist speeches to his congregation? Yeah. We could, though, and threatened revenge. If it were me or one of my kids, I would react uh, in the same manner. That's all I could say. I'd have to retaliate the same way that they've, what they've done to this man. I'm sure the same thing would have to happen to them. Police say that they have no suspects in the case. Tonight, Rabbi Weingarten is in stable condition at Bellevue Hospital. Rollin? Hey, thank you. Try to sort out what happened. Joseph Waldman was able to videotape the rioting crowd that kept him, his wife, and their eight children prisoners in their home for two hours, breaking windows with a barrage of eggs and stones and chanting. They'll kill him and um, Joseph Waldman to be killed in, 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 in Hebrew and Jewish. This isn't the first time protesters have gathered outside Waldman's home, but never so many. Waldman's been at odds with the leader of the 10,000-member sect, the Grand Rabbi Moses Teitelbaum. Waldman ran into the election, but he recently won a court case against the rabbi who barred Waldman. The Grand Rabbi reportedly spoke in the synagogue across from Waldman's home last night, denouncing Waldman and his supporters. The speech which incites the people to come to my house, to riot, and to do any, anything to do even to kill me. I feel this is like an order on Alan Rashti, which is an order, an extinguish, extin, extinction order. Less than 12 hours later, only one member of this closed community would comment, saying that Waldman was trying to destroy the community. He would not say why. We even went to the Grand Rabbi. No comment. 